Congratulations. If you're watching this how-to video, then you're probably a new owner of Sony's brand new WH-1000XM4 noise canceling headphones. In this video, we're going to give you a quick rundown of how to get up and running quickly so you get the most out of your new noise canceling headphones. All right. This is the box that the Sony WH-1000XM4 comes inside and we're going to do a quick rundown of what's inside. So when you slip off the first section, just put that right there, you've got the easy setup guide, which has some quick guide uh, guidelines on and instructions on how to get it set up and download the app. We're going to go over that in just a little bit. When you peel that back, you've got the really nice case and open up the headphone case. And this is exactly how you'll want to stow away your headphones when you put it back in later. You've got the USB-C charging cable. We've got the 3.5 millimeter headphone cable. And last but not least, we've got the airline adapter right here. Um, real briefly, this is where your USB-C charging port is, and that's how you charge your headphones when they run out of juice. And um, on the left ear cup, there's the 3.5 millimeter serial plug. Right above that is your power button, and you'll notice there's a little LED light when you press and hold that. It'll light up. And also, you can't hear it right now, but when you're wearing the headphones, what happens immediately is there's a voice that pretty much walks you through pairing it with your phone. Um, it immediately enters pairing mode right out of the box when you power it on. And then briefly, we'll talk about this custom button, but that actually can be uh, changed and reprogrammed to activate um, voice assistance. So I've got my left ear cup here. My right ear cup is right here where the touch capacity controls are. When you double tap, that actually pauses your music, which is really cool. Um, when you swipe up or down, that actually lowers or raises the volume, really user-friendly. And if you want to skip the track or rewind, just doing a little swipe, just like you're on an iPhone with a touch screen and you're swiping on an iPad, it's basically the same concept. If you want to go back, just swipe backwards and you'll find it's really simple to navigate once you actually wear the headphones and start using it to interact with them and your music. Uh, one other really cool feature to point out about this capacitive touch control is on the same right ear cup, there's a really awesome feature uh, that's you know, pretty famous with the previous model as well, but um, it's the ambient um, noise control that actually pipes in ambient noise around you when you want to hear your surroundings. So that works just by placing your hand on the right ear cup just like this. So the way that works is if someone comes up to you, you've got noise canceling on, you've got your music on, you really can't hear anything because you're in your private little world and uh, you recognize someone wants to speak to you, you just hold your hand like this and immediately the outside world is pumped in and you can hear the person speaking to you and they also know, you know, they get the signal that you're also, you know, you got headphones on and everything. When the conversation is over, you're back into your private little world and the music starts playing again. Okay, and this is our dashboard. It's basically just going to show you the status of your headphones. So from here, you get a quick, uh, convenient um, view of your adaptive sound control. We'll go into that a little bit more in just a moment. Right below that, you can see your multi-point connectivity. Uh, which shows that I'm connected to two Bluetooth devices at once. That's my phone and my MacBook Pro. And right below that, you got uh, some quick, convenient playback controls and volume right there. So adaptive sound control, talk about that real quick. Um, basically, this is where the, you can control how much of the ambient world is um, piped into your headset based on your activity, behavior, or location. If I were running, for instance, you actually might want to be more aware of your surroundings, um, like cars passing by and things like that. It's, it's more safe. So Sony right off the bat gives you a lot more ambient noise coming into the headphone when that setting's on. But let's say you wanted to adjust it so that there's full noise cancellation if you want to be in total silence or if you wanted to let in just a little bit more, 
you'll see how that works. And same thing for walking and for sitting. And speak to chat, also leave that on because that's going to be where the uh, ambient noise will pipe into your headset when you automatically speak. Now what's really cool about that, if you want to change the sensitivity of speak to chat, um, I leave mine on automatic, it works pretty well. But if you do want to lower or increase the sensitivity, it gives you the option to do that. Um, high is pretty, pretty sensitive. If you cough, it's going to you know, detect that. It's going to basically detect your voice, pause your music for you, um, and pipe in ambient noise. So I just use automatic. Um, we're going to go now into the system. And this is really important because there are software updates, for instance, that Sony will release that improves your headphones. And I'm just going to skip right down to the bottom and show you where that is. It's automatic download of software and there's a button or a switch that toggles that on or off. I leave it on because I like to automatically have those cool new features as soon as Sony rolls them out. This is where you change the function of the custom button. Just a reminder that custom button is right below the power button. So what that does by default is when you tap it, it lets you pipe in ambient noise into the headphone, but it can be changed to automatically um, activate Google Assistant um, or Amazon Alexa or even um, the Apple iPhone, and you can turn it on or off here. All right, guys, we hope that was helpful. Um, if you have any questions about anything we covered in this video, feel free to give us a call or chat with us on our website and we can address those questions. But hopefully this gets you up and running quickly. And uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.